So we're going to talk about the three S's. A part of my program of St. Thomas Temple of Light, St. Thomas was, of course, Thomas, who was the doubting Thomas. And my goal in my ministry, my pagan faith ministry, my pagan foundation of Illinois, and will eventually go national and possibly international, but I don't want to overstep the incredible organization that's in Europe called the Pagan Federation. And I think mine's going to be more the Pagan Foundation because I'm not going to take their language and their concept. But I've got the basic principles down from them, and I really like them. I want to support them 100%. And if you want to join them, please join them. Buy their membership. It's not very expensive. It's like 35 bucks, maybe 50 bucks American. I don't know. I didn't do the exchange rate. But they are really good people, and I hope you support them. I have a, they have a really simple website. Do that for the Lord, please. Now, the three S's are pretty straightforward. They are service, that a person needs to be able to work in their industry, their career, their talents, their skill sets to make a living. It is foolish for any sibling, friend, neighbor, or stranger to just say, go get a job. There's plenty in the community. Yes, there are, but you can't always live off that food level, and it ruins your career level if you dip down too far. I know that because one of my last jobs was making $12 an hour when I'm accustomed to making 50 plus an hour, 350 sometimes an hour. So why would you tell a man up my education and station level to go make $12 an hour? Are you trying to insult me with my intelligence or are you trying to say that I'm arrogant and unwilling to work and that's a lie? I have to provide for me and pay for my life and you cannot live in a home on $12 an hour. I could have barely afforded my safe apartment, quote unquote safe, because people were still coming in and out of there from maintenance, stealing from me and lying to me, and possibly the girl that I love got in with maintenance help, not trying to harm me, just doing something stupid. And openly it allowed them to go in and do things, or was it my siblings who had the key for emergencies only that was stealing my things and lying to themselves about their rights to take things and play with things and change titles and abuse me like that? 